And there is a question, does the man learn how to use this inexhaustible source of energy? It turns out, he had, but information of how to do it, been hidden behind energy conservation law. Here's a mathematical model of conservation pulse electrical energy. Pay attention. This is the average power, this is the voltage amplitude, the current amplitude, and this, the duty cycle, period duration to pulse duration ratio. Here the waveform, taken from the battery terminals, from which energy supplied to the lamp in pulses. Point A is a rated voltage at the terminals. Load on, the voltage drops, quite naturally. Current appears. This is amplitude. At point B, battery disconnected, no applied voltage, and battery not working in the interval BC. Now look at this formula. It tries to convince us that voltage supplied to the light bulb during entire period. And what is the current amplitude divided by the duty cycle? Here it is, the vertical square. Dividing the amplitude by the duty cycle, we stretch this vertical square to horizontal for the length of the period. It automatically corresponds SI system, which requires continuous supply of energy to the consumer. The question arises, why in this formula voltage not divided by the duty cycle? We see that the voltage in this range also does not work. It certainly also needed to be divided by the duty cycle. So, let's divide it by duty cycle. Now the average power is defined as the product of the amplitude, values of voltage and current, divided by the square of duty cycle. Is this a lot or a little? Turns out, that all electricity meters built, I apologize to academics, built on moronic academic formula that protects the law of conservation of energy and according to this formula built all the meters in all countries in our laboratory for over 10 years there are two identical heaters one powered from the grid consumes energy continuously ordinary heating element the meter from grid shows 875 watts at the terminals of element the same 875 watts. And here, our experimental heater with three pre-plasma cells. Measurement on the meter, about the same 800 watts. Measured on the terminals of cells 15 watts. Delegations from Austria, Germany, from Moscow military came. After we published the data, they checked whether on the terminals of these cells 15 watts when the temperature of both radiators the same. Yes. When leaving, they swore to make a pulse generator, which will make counter to show 15 watts. I argued that it is impossible, because to meter voltage is 220, and it does not reflect the average value of the pulse. They left. In two, three months came back with suitcases of their instruments and again began checking and left disappointed, as I said, all of their instruments show on the terminals 15 watts and on the counter 800. This way, the law of conservation of energy, incorporated in design of electricity meters, been hiding understanding and use of inexhaustible energy source.
We used it, but didn't know what we used, and how to use it. So we made an independent source of energy, very easy. Here collector on the rotor. Here the brush, usually all plates of collector connected to the rotor. But we decided very simply to connect only those plates which start working when the magnetic pole of the rotor approaches the stator pole. Magnetic pulse occurs and the rotor starts to rotate, and when the poles align, we break contacts. Rotor inertia continue to rotate it, continuously without external drive. The world's first electric motor generator, a generator, combined with a motor, having no external drive. The most interesting experiment, we took two groups of motorcycle batteries, four in each. We applied pulses to the rotor, pulses generated induced EMF and the back EMF of self-induction. When rotor powered by one battery group, there are pulses of induced EMF and self-inductance in the stator. Pulses of induced EMF we send for charging a second battery group, and the self-inductance back EMF to electrolyzer cell. Индукции мы подаем на зарядку второй группы аккумуляторов, а сама индукции на электролизер. So for how long it will work continuously in this mode, this power unit design. Вот этого энергетического блока. It turns out, we were able to run continuously for 72 hours. Then we stopped and allowed batteries to cool. Checked everything fine, measured the voltage drop. In 72 hours battery voltage dropped by 0.3 volts. It became clear that we can make design which will not have a voltage drop. We counted the energy which gave batteries, lowering their voltage on 0.3 volts, counted the volume of gas produced. And it turned out that this power unit reduces cost of water electrolysis by 100 times. So, there is a need to make a commercial version of electric motor generator. We developed the technical specifications, and by reason unknown to us, our mysterious investor stopped funding our works. And I'm sorry. A puppet investor could not explain to us why his financing assigned for us to conduct this research is suddenly stopped. 